<laughs> Danny, wake up. <laughs> Note to self. Never come back to this grand Playing my own music. Quiet as a mouse. Happy New Year's. <laughs> Second Christmas, but your first where you're aware. Like really, no, not aware, but you're older now. So, Daddy and me are setting up the Christmas oh, stuff. Yep. First big Christmas. I know. Ariah, we love you. <laughs> it's your first Christmas. You're a sleepy. You sleepy girl. You're a sleepy girl. So we're putting out the gifts now. See, we hit them. months. Well, actually, you're almost 19 months. A year and seven months coming up. You're a big girly. You act like you're five. Not kidding. One of your favorites to go with your little new thing. Watching Griswolds Christmas vacation. Where are they gonna fit a tree that big? Merry Christmas, Araya. Merry Christmas. Is this for you? Whoa. Whoa. Is that Elmo? Huh? Elmo. Sesame. And he's on the potty. Look at this scarf daddy got me. It's my favorite. And the baby girl is still on her stockings and just enjoying the two little Play-Dohs that she got. Look at her, look at her. What's in your stocking, baby? You need a breeze? You need a... You need, yeah? Hut. What's in your stocking? I just cracked my phone. Cool. It's New Year's Eve and my mom picked up the baby. So I got a break. There's no big plans really. Danny unfortunately had work to do because it was a last minute thing somebody told him he had to do and it was really unfortunate and annoying. So he's still doing that but we're probably gonna go out to eat and just have a drink and go home and do our little New Year's Eve stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm going to pick up wine right now. And that's it. So, looking forward to 
2021. Not really, just like getting out of 2020. But not that that's gonna really make a difference, but like mentally kinda does, just cause like, gosh. Everyone's saying that, I know, but it's just like crazy. It's crazy that it's New Year's Eve. Yeah, so it is 4.35. I was gonna go to the mall, unfortunately it closes at six. So it is what it is though. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Hi. You know, just home on New Year's Eve. Scrolling on my computer. Quite the New Year's Eve. I actually am gonna leave probably in a little bit to go get my husband from the office. Happy New Year. If you're just as bored or if you had a really boring New Year's Eve, don't feel bad. So is half the world. No, I'm not a big New Year's Eve person anyway. Honestly, never cared for it. I'm No, let me take it back. I like New Year's Eve. Just never cared for the like party excitement of it. I am more get some wine and some really good food, hang with my best friend or husband and do New Year's Eve resolution questionnaire type things, play games. That's my kind of New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve always felt refreshing because even if you don't set these like amazing crazy goals, like you do kind of outline somewhat of expectation or prayer requests or little goals you want. And you know, cause over the years like, I came to the conclusion that like setting certain goals were not really realistic for myself and I'd always be disappointed. Um, so setting smaller goals that are realistic and prayer requests, like prayer more so goals was the way to go for me. Uh, but this year I am if I'm being quite honest, at a standstill in my mind. I uh, literally, like today has been the first day that I've actually been able to contemplate anything, like think for myself. I wouldn't even call it a funk, I just feel like I'm afloat. It's, it's like a lack of motivation for anything and everything. Which is not good, it's not good. Um, the only thing I do focus on, obviously, is my daughter, my home, my husband, and I mean, that is good things to focus on, that's what I should be focused on, but it, if you know what I'm saying, like, do you know what I'm saying, like, I don't think anything really outside of that, and I mean, obviously, beside my family and friends, stuff that's going on, but for myself, for my goals, for my dreams, aspirations. Anyway, I plan to, you know, get ready as we hope to go out for a little bit. But um, yeah, it's not looking, it's not looking like it, but we'll see. We might grab some need, hopefully it's ready. It's ready. 6.22. If you guys are home, or we're home for the New Year's, or you're just lounging right now watching this and you're feeling like unmotivated and just like in a weird place, depression, defeat, it's a season. It's a season. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I was listening to reading a devotion on the Bible app and it was um, called Still by Michael W. Smith, I shared it on my Instagram, my mom sent it to me. And one of the things that he was saying was like, he was in the, um, somewhere in the mountains. And the view is apparently so amazing. And he said when he got there, he looked out w the window or wherever he was staying and saw nothing but fog and like the mountains were completely covered with fog he couldn't get the view and he was just like wow that sucks and then the next day it poured pouring rain which cleared up the fog which then turned to snow which then 
you know, all in a certain amount of time, the sun came out and revealed these amazing mountains with snow at the tops. And he just was in awe. And he said, that's just like God in our circumstances that we can't see. Our vision is not clear because of life's cir um, circumstances around you or making a fog. And God sees the bigger picture and God has such an amazing future for us. And it's just like him to use the rain that washes our sins away and cleanses us snow which is like God's purity he makes things as white as snow and then the Sun just like revealing revealing um, God's glory you know I thought that was just like really pretty really beautiful I kind of butchered it I think about that you know right now and you may be in a place where it's just like ugh, it's all are 2020 get the hell out of here um, but there are brighter days for sure and god still has a purpose for our, our lives do not forget that do not let your life circumstance define who you are or what your future holds because that's definitely the enemy's lies he wants to keep us down which is another thing to think of like me saying i'm afloat right now I'm not you know sailing <laughs> sailing in the wind and I'm also not beneath the surface drowning. I'm afloat, thankfully, but um, he wants to keep us there too. Because sometimes when we're really bad, we really cry out for help, and then the times when we're just like really good, he doesn't want us to get to that place. But when you're just okay, uh, he, wants, he wants to keep you at medi mediocrity, so. He will do anything to keep you there or keep you down. So just remind yourself of that. Like, don't let Satan win. No. Happy New Year, guys. I just wanted to share some thoughts with you and let you know where I was at. And I am so blessed in life. And I love my family. And I'm so grateful for them and for our health and everything. So things aren't bad. I just mentally am in a weird place. To be honest. Yeah. Enjoy this day, week, and freaking new year, all right? 2021. No more 2020. <laughs> Nanny at the office. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Ooh, nice and toasty. <sighs> Daniel at work, New Year's Eve. Well, this is how you got it going in 2021, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, here we are, New Year's Eve. Fancy Lee with hubby. Got our sushi. Happy New Year, Spain. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, right. Thank you. Hey, enjoy me, everybody. Can I have one, uh, one more? Uh, one beer. more beer, yeah. Sure. Thank you. Cheers. 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 To 2021. Health. Note to self. Never come back to this fancy leaves. Playing my own music. It's quiet as a mouse. Happy New Year's. is that there is no update now. <laughs> I feel better. I I still don't have any resolutions or anything like that. Me and Danny actually didn't even do our 
little like predictions. We always fill out our um, the upcoming year predictions and read them every year. I mean, me and Sam do that and we ask more questions, but me and Danny didn't even do that, so. I don't know, it's just like, I feel like everyone feels like that. Maybe not, maybe you guys have goals and all that, but I, I'm just like, whatever. Today is January eighth, uh, and we're celebrating Christmas with my family because so we pushed it off. My niece had my niece tested positive for COVID last month uh, with no symptoms, so we had to postpone. Look at this cutie girl! All right, wanna wanna put this on? Look at the girly. <gasps> you're waving, you're such a cutie. Come here. Bad lighting. Still bad. Are we putting your hair up? <gasps> you look so pretty. Go look in the mirror. Come here. Oh. I'm gonna fix that hair. It's really cool to look still with this. Do you love it? <laughs> it's comfy. Must be camera in the car. It's a long walk. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I think we Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Christmas. Christmas. Talking to me? Yes, it was. You weren't answering. I'm like, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Seriously. Oi! Good. I gotta be on the table and bang the table like he did. With his hair. Tricked. Cheated. Laughed at in streets. Fools. Aiden? Say Merry Christmas. To who? To. Okay, Merry Christmas! What do you want to do first? Wait, is that a pen? No, it's a guy. Do you want me to do it? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Don't make me laugh. I've had some of the hand. Huh? Just shove your hand in. It's not right there. Danny, wake up. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the little <laughs> kitty cat. <laughs> You'll be getting a girlfriend soon. And then you'll be like, all right, let's go. It's a place that had a hot tub in the snow. I mean, I would do it all. 
I have I've never been to Colorado. Cozy. But but I, I get it. You can't go flying. You can do that. All right, what you about stay on the coast. Yeah. But also, you're right. Love for Virginia, Florida, 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 Florida